First I mix up four or five different puddles of greens of varying temperatures and colors and put them beside each other so I can compare them. Next I dip into phthalo green and cad yellow medium to try and bring this piece closer to me by giving it more chroma and more color. Next I put in my mountain colors so I can use those colors and values to compare against my greens. And then I go to my mid-ground trees and try to work on the shadows, trying to make them colorful, but I can't make them too dark because they're receding away from me, so I use some cerulean blue, some reds, and some ultramarine blue. The light on these middle ground trees is difficult, they are backlit, I can't go too powerful. I'm using cad yellow light, a cooler green color, and just following the outline of the tree shape. For a unique looking middle ground green, try mixing yellow ochre and ultramarine blue, I think you'll like it. Save your most powerful chromatic colors for the foreground in your darkest darks, and I hope that helps you add depth and variety to your greens.